Uh oh. It's not working very good. Time to change the filter. First thing you need to do is make sure you turn off the ice maker. Here it's already turned off. Second, find out where your filter gets installed. In this case, it's right here. You can just hit this button. It pops right out. Take the old filter out. Locate a new filter. Let's see here. For this Frigidaire model, we use this Pure Source 2 water filter. You want to open this thing up. It's pretty simple. It's just got the little top. It tells you to remove these little safety caps. Pop these little caps off the top. You'll see it looks the same as the old one. Nothing different about them. Take the new one, which is remarkably lighter because it's not full with water. Pop it in. Takes a little effort to get it in that first time. Make sure it's in all the way. Get yourself a glass. You'll see that the light will still be red, saying that your filter status is poor. You'll get some water immediately from the water that was already in the line, but then it'll start to kick and spurt as it starts trying to flow through the new filter. Sit there and dump that out. Take a quick peek, make sure nothing's leaking here in the fridge. Looks like it's doing okay. Double check that that's locked in all the way. There we go, that first little spit. And you'll basically just go through this until the water is running smoothly. It'll be cloudy initially as it starts pulling out the material from production of the filter. And you'll just want to run your water until it's clear. And then once it's clear, you'll want to go ahead and reset your filter status. We'll show you that here in just a moment. Fill this one up here and we should be able to see that this is pretty cloudy. Now that it's flowing. So when we lift this up, we'll try and get some good light on it. You can see all this stuff floating around in the water. That's just because it's a new filter. You don't want to see that at all. So just keep filling. Uh, you can either use a glass or a bucket, whatever you can fit in there, and just keep running it until the water's clear. Okay, let's see how this process is going. Gone through about a dozen of these glasses. And that's looking pretty clear. We don't have all those uh, little particles floating around that we had earlier, so it looks like we're pretty good. Just go ahead and dump that out. Now I need to reset the filter. So you've got this little filter status button right here. Just go ahead and hold that down. Changes colors, it's all done. So now when we go to fill up our glass again, you should see that that light is green, which it is. So now we should be good for a few more months until we need a new filter. Water tastes great. Job well done. Looks like we have one filter left right here. Um, I bought these from filtersfast.com. usually buy three at a time because it's a better deal with shipping and I think they give you a discount. Uh, usually I wait till I replace the last one. As soon as I put that one in, I order three more and that gets us by for a while. So there you go. This was all done using Google Glass. Happy holidays.